Hey guys, this is my Folio 9480M. Uh, I had a hard time getting this thing to boot Linux. It had Windows originally booted fine. Uh, it was in legacy mode on the BIOS and couldn't get it to boot at all. Put, moved it over to the UEFI mode. I uh, started to get it a little further but still had a lot of trouble. Let me uh, reboot into the BIOS and show you what I had to do. Okay, we are rebooting. Now mine, it'll say a little line down here. You gotta hit escape to get that bias to come up. We'll give it a minute. There it is, escape for startup. So I hit that escape key. Now there's a couple different ways you wanna look at this. If you go down to boot device options, and this is the order that you put things in. You could uh, do OS Boot Manager, uh, Notebook, uh, Ethernet, IPv4, IPv6, boot from EFI file. And then there's a little thing that says Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. And uh, if you click that, that'll actually boot it into Linux. Um, but that's just the order. So you wanna, you wanna make sure Customize Boot is at the top, is what I had to do. And then uh, when I'd go into, excuse me, sorry, wrong spot. If I go into BIOS Setup, then I'd go over here into Advanced, and I would go down to, I think it's Boot Options, let me just check this, yeah. So if we scroll down here, I turn Secure Boot off, by the way. Uh, you can do it, There's if you look at the solution, there's ways to do it both ways. I've done it without Secure Boot, uh, just so you know. Uh, my boot mode is UEFI Native, uh, without CSM. And then here's my boot order, again, customize boot. And I think I have, right here, customize boot. So if you hit enter here, or I'm sorry, that checks that, that checks that box. You want that box checked, and then you wanna go down and you wanna add or delete. And you'll, you'll go down to add You'll go up to add, and then you'll paste that path that's down in the description. I, I'll show you the web page of where I got that. I'm gonna hit escape so I don't mess that up. But you paste that there. Go make sure you save everything in your bias. I'm gonna not save mine because I don't wanna change anything since I finally got this working. And then when you reboot, it'll actually find your grub file and boot it into Linux. Uh, so let me show you the solution that I found. And right here is the link. Uh, if you just search this up here, HP UEFI, UEFI doesn't boot Ubuntu automatically. I'll, I'll put a link to this down in the description. Um, basically, what he uh, what he's asking is, you know, how do I fix this? And you get down to this answer, and it says this is one of the two workarounds. So if you're using Secure Boot, you copy one. And if you're using non-secure boot, you copy the other. Uh, worked perfect for me, and you put that into that custom boot field, and uh, you're good to go. So that's how I found out how to fix this. Uh, link in the description below. Uh, I think a lot of HP laptops are like this from what I've read online, um, especially the, well, probably ones with the older UEFI, UEFI but they they work good with Windows, just, just not with Linux. So, Anyway, uh, that's how I fix mine. Let me know how you fix yours. We'll talk to you soon.